Good day and welcome to Flipping Economics. In your notes on international trade, you saw that countries trade because of specialization. One country cannot produce all the goods and services, they need to specialize in a certain good or service. So how do one know in which good or service to specialize in? Now theory explains this on two concepts. The first is something that we call an absolute advantage. This is when a country produces a product cheaper than any other country and then relative advantage is that the opportunity cost to produce products differ. So absolute advantage goes with value and relative advantage goes with opportunity cost. Okay. So if you look at this example that I gave you, Germany can produce two cars or eight bottles of wine. South Africa can produce one car or six bottles of wine. So if you just look at it like that, it looks like Germany can produce more car and more wine. So on face value, Germany has the absolute advantage because they are producing more cars and more wine. But what about the opportunity cost? And that is where you have to calculate a little calculation. So let's look at Germany. So Germany are currently producing two motor cars or eight wines. Now we want to get it in a one ratio to see how many, if, if Germany can produce one car, what is the opportunity cost in terms of wine? How much wine does he, they need to give up? So 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. Then I needed to do on that side as well. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So Germany can produce one car, but they need to give up for wine. If you want to look at it in terms of wine, so let's say one motor car for four wines. We want wine alone, so divide by four. So for one wine, one divided by four is a quarter. So for Germany to produce one wine, they need to give up a quarter of a car, a motor car. So the opportunity cost again for Germany to produce one motor car is four wines and one wine. The opportunity cost for them to produce one wine is a quarter of a motor car. So let's look at South Africa now. South Africa produces one motor car and needs to give up then six wines. Now let's see what it looks like in terms of wine. So if we have one motor car to six wine, six divided by six. So one wine, you will have to give up a sixth of a motor car. So can we look now just in terms of motor cars? If Germany wants to produce one motor car, they need to give up four wine. If South Africa wants to produce one motor car, they need to give up six wines. So can you see that South Africa needs to give up more wine to produce one car? So it's more expensive for South Africa to produce cars because we need to give up more wine. The opportunity cost for producing cars is more expensive because we have to give up more wine now in terms of wine germany if they want to produce one wine they need to give up a quarter of a motor car like the whole front part the engine part and then if south africa wants to produce one wine they only need to give up maybe the two front wheels 
So the opportunity cost for South Africa to produce wine is a lot less than with Germany. So it's expensive for Germany to produce wine. So South Africa has the relative advantage in producing motor cars, where, or excuse me, wine. And Germany has the relative advantage in producing cars. So it's cheaper for Germany to produce cars. Why? Because they give up less wine. It's cheaper for South Africa to produce wine. Why? Because they give up less cars.